The digital paradigm is currently dominated by artificial intelligence, by machine learning, which basically takes empirical observations of reality, what happened, what happened in the past, and takes it and learns from it and does magic with it. So why do we need anything else? Why don't we just give all the power to, to machine learning? Well, there is a very important theoretical reason of why we need something else. Empirical machine learning is not enough. We need theory. We need actually visions of the future in order to safeguard the, the digital age into, into the direction that we want it to go. And that is because machines basically learn from the past. So let's imagine you and me are a transformer deep neural net and we observe this pattern here. What is the prediction that we will make uh, how this continues? Yes, and there is nothing in the data, not mathematically, not whateverly, statistically, that allows you to say anything different, but something like, just like that, that it, it just continues. Because that's what it is. So what machine learning does, if it's trained on empirical data, it basically it locks us into the past. It condemns us to repeat the past forever. It puts us into a straitjacket. Now, I'm not sure if we want the past to like, I don't know how great it was with all the racist and sexist and classist and this, this, whatever it is be. But a machine learning cannot by itself suddenly say like, hey, you know what? I want a better world, a world without poverty, without discrimination, without contamination. And so a machine learning itself couldn't do that because it's just trained on data and makes predictions, amazing predictions, but nonetheless, that's what it's trained about. And that, especially for social systems, and I already insinuated with tongue in cheek, but for social systems, that's a disaster. Not only because the past might have not been as bright as we want the future to be, but also because we consistently intervene into the system. So the idea of doing social science actually to understand something about society and you do some kind of social modeling, if you're an entrepreneur and then you change the system with your innovation that you introduce, puts the economy in disequilibrium. Or if you're a policymaker, you want to introduce new rules and you change the system's dynamics. Actually, the Nobel Prize winner, Robert Lucas, had this critique. It's known as Lucas' critique. He says, well, any change in policy will systematically alter the structure of your prediction models. He said that back in the 70s. And this Lucas critique is extremely relevant nowadays where machine learning has the reins and drives us into the future because we have to remember that. It puts us into a straitjacket of condemning us repeating the past. I actually had a period in my life where I talked about this question a lot, so I will not repeat myself and I invite you just to, to watch this recording, which is already several, several years old, but I say all the same things there that I would tell you right now. So please have a look at this video. <laughs> 